Hi everyone. In this video session, we are going to attempt next question in computer organization from the topic main memory and cache. Uh, this question was asked in the year 2011 for two marks. The question goes like this. An 8 kilobyte direct mapped write back cache is organized as multiple blocks, each of size 32 bytes. The processor generates 32 bit addresses. The cache controller maintains tag information for each cache block comprising of the following one valid bit, one modified bit, as many bits as the minimum needed to identify the memory block mapped in the cache. So here this statement actually means tag field. So this actually means tag field. Now the question is what is the total size of memory needed at the cache controller to store metadata tags for the cache. So here we need to find the total size of metadata and metadata contains comprises one valid bit, one modified bit and tag bits for each cache. Uh, now the first step that we we'll do is to find out the size of the tag field which is maintained at each cache block. So for that we need to find the other fields of CPU address. So a CPU address is broken down into multiple fields. First few least significant bits are known as block offset and their purpose is to identify a byte within a block. Next set of bits is known as cache index. So as we are using direct map cache so the next set of bits would be known as cache index and the remaining bits would be known as tag bits. So in all this uh, CPU address is of size 32 bits. Now we would find out width of each field in bits. Now block offset can be found out by, by uh, the block size. So here block size is given as to be 32 bytes. Right, let us designate block size with capital B it is 32 bytes. And the formula for the width of block offset is log base to block size. Now we would put in place of capital B the value of it that is 32. So it is log base to 32 is 5. So the width of block offset is 5 bits. Now we need to find out the width of cache index in bits. So for that we need to first find out the number of cache blocks in the cache. So it is not directly given but what is given is the total size of cache and uh, block size. So from there we can from this two uh, data we can find out the number of cache blocks. So number of cache blocks let us designate it as capital C is given by cache size divided by block size that is capital B. Cache size is 8 kilobyte and block size is given as 32 bytes. So 8 kilobyte can be written as 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 3 is 8 and kilo can be written as 2 to the power 10. This many bytes divided by 32 bytes. 32 can be written as 2 to the power 5 bytes. So 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 10 is 2 to the power 13 divided by 2 to the power 5 and that is 2 to the power 8. So this many cache blocks are there in the cache. Now cache index which is represented as small c is given by log base 2 total number of cache blocks. So log base 2 capital C is 2 to the power 8. Bring 8 out of the log. 
so it would be log base to 2 that is 1 and uh, the size of cache index would be 8 bits and the remaining fields and, and the remaining bits in uh, the CPU address would be part of tag field so here the tag would be of size 32 minus 8 minus 5 that is 19 so tag field is of width 19 bits now each of the cache blocks would contain one valid bit one modified bit and 19 bits of uh, tag field so let me draw the cache so that it would become more clear so the cache would look like this and cache contains multiple cache blocks or cache lines and the number of cache blocks as we have calculated it is 2 to the power 8 so if you are starting with 0th index then the last cache blocks index would be 2 to the power 8 minus 1 right and each cache line or cache block contains the data part and along with that we are maintaining metadata and data as we have as it is given is 32 bytes wide and metadata has got one valid bit one modified bit and 19 bits of tag field right so in all we have 21 bits per cache block right so we need to find out find out the size of the metadata part in all so per cache block we have 21 bits and there are 2 to the power 8 such cache blocks right so the metadata would be of size 21 into 2 to the power 8 this many bits right so 21 bits into 2 to the power 8 is equals to 21 into 2 to the power 8 bits and 2 to the power 8 is 256 so 21 into 256 let us do this multiplication 256 into 512 6735 this many bits so this would be our answer this is, would be this would be the size of the metadata part so let us select the correct answer from the given options and this is option number D so this is the correct answer so hope you have understood the logic of choosing the uh, this option thanks for watching bye thank you